take your basic GPS device, link it to others on the road, and you'll wind up with something like this, a smartphone app called Waze. It takes a user's car location and speed of travel to build a real-time image of the streets or highways they're on and then gives the best routes to its drivers. We all know the feeling of frustration sitting on the highway in front of an intersection wondering, should I get off and take the surface streets or should I continue on the highway? And we plan to answer that question. Noam Bardeen is the CEO of the three-year-old company that first became popular in Israel. Now it has its eyes set on the U.S., moving its headquarters to Silicon Valley. The company believes it is poised to get millions of new users thanks to L.A.'s traffic nightmare known as Carmageddon. For us, this is a huge event. It's, it's the, sort of the coming out. Bugged by the 405 shutdown. Waze has partnered with an L.A. TV station, and it hopes to show thousands of potential users how the app can make moving around Carmageddon easier. Join ABC7's Beat Carmageddon. The publicity is putting Waze itself on the map in a city known for its terrible traffic. This is for us really the first step into going mainstream and really trying to help everyone, especially in a place like Los Angeles, where traffic is obviously a number one concern. So I'm driving here on the freeway and I can see other Waze users on the phone. It's also telling me which nearby streets I should avoid. Waze also has features that allow users to report accidents or speed traps, but the most important data really requires no effort. You just have to have the application open while you're driving. As a consumer, all you have to do to contribute to this community is drive. Just turn it on when you're driving, it'll find a better route for you, it'll save you time every day, and time equals gas equals money. Waze may be saving you money, but like a lot of startups, it's not making any money. It hopes to eventually monetize through advertising. For now, it just wants to build its user base, and no better way to do that than with a traffic calamity. Dan Simon, CNN, San Francisco. that can find you the fastest routes around the gridlock. It's called Waze, and all weekend long we'll be getting real-time updates on the delays and alternate routes from the creative team behind it. Waze combines GPS navigation technology with social networking to get you where you want to go faster than ever. And the best part? The app is totally free. You can download it right now from your iPhone's app store, the Android market, or our website, abc7.com slash traffic. And stay with Eyewitness News and our website, abc7.com. One of the best ways to beat Carmageddon is by downloading the free Waze app. It gives you the conditions drivers on the road are experiencing right now. And let's head over to our Waze desk and Diane Eisner with what Wazers are reporting. Hi, Diane. Hi, thank you. Um, just a few minutes ago, I said that there was a report from a Wazer about an accident. And uh, working here from the ABC7 studios, we have confirmed, the police have confirmed, that uh, user uh, Somar 2 was absolutely right. Unfortunately, it was a fatality, so a very bad accident on the I-15 toward Barstow. Uh, so uh, thank you so much, Somar 2 This is the kind of reporting that we really need out there for, from citizens. This is, this is really, truly amazing. We have a couple hundred thousand people just in the LA area using Waze right now to let us know what's going on in real time. Um, now, this is not related to Carmageddon, uh, but it's very good for commuting and for reporting whatever's happening on the road at any time. Um, but back to the Carmageddon information, you can go to abc7.com slash traffic uh, and keep up to date with what's happening on all those alternate routes. Okay, thank you, Diane. Thank you, you. You can download the uh, free Waze app by visiting the App Store or the Android Market. You can also find more info, including the Waze map. Good morning, Diane. Good morning. Happy Carmageddon is right. We've got Wazers on the 5, the 134, the 10, and everything seems pretty clear. We've even got people reporting and showing us uh, even a picture now saying, wide open on the 170 by one of our newer anonymous users. And there you go. There's some proof coming in from the Wazers. So things are looking good, but we've got Wazers on, on all the alternate routes. And again, go ahead and check out the live map at any time at abc7.com slash traffic. Back to you. Sounds good. Thank you, Doug. The 405 closing down. It's what's bugging you. We have ways to help. Just download the Waze app at abc7.com slash traffic, and you'll have what you need to get around the traffic. Download now to beat Karmageddon from ABC7 Eyewitness News.
Great. We're going to check in with the live ways who's on the road here is Diane Eisner from the Waze Traffic Desk. Good morning, Diane. Good morning. Thanks, Alicia. Yeah, everything is still looking good. Our Wazers are still smiling as well. But why don't we take a look at something that we just saw on Twitter. So in addition to bringing in all the reports from our amazing community of Wazers, giant community of Wazers in Los Angeles, uh, we're bringing in information from Twitter as well. So we just got this uh, from Geyser Avenue. Can't go to Real Madrid vs. Galaxy because of the 405 demolition traffic will be horrific. This was just four seconds ago that this came in onto the Waze map. Um, and the Galaxy says, um, uh, go ahead and, and try to carpool, try not to be in a single passenger vehicle. But uh, I gotta say, so far, it looks like you should go to that game. So far, we are beating Carmageddon, and again, just flip on that Waze, and you're helping even without typing. And now we're gonna check in with, with our Wazers. With that, we go to Noah Bardeen. Go ahead. Thanks, Danny. So as I said, the highways look great, and let's take a quick look at the surface streets. Everyone was really worried what would happen on the canyons. And so far, the canyons seem to be great. We've had a few wazers drive around there, and, and for example, this wazer driving at 25 miles an hour. We've got wazers driving here in the canyons at 25 miles an hour as well, so nothing seems to be stopped up on the surface streets either. So with this, I think we're having a great day. Back to you, Danny. All right, thanks very much, Noam. Let's see how it's looking on the ways, folks. Uh, for that, we go to Noam Bardeen. Noam, what's that going on? Thanks, Danny. And as you showed, the 101 definitely is clear. But on the 5, we can see traffic beginning to build up. And this picture was submitted by one of our Wazers just several minutes ago. And this is what the 5 is looking like going north, just past the, the, the 110. So we're definitely seeing great uh, uh, tra traffic conditions all over, except in this one place. So if we zoom out a little bit, you can see nothing else is out there. Lots of Wazers. People are using the app, but yet they're not encountering traffic. Back to you, Danny. All right, thanks for much, Noam. Yeah, the Wazers doing their work. We're actually going to send it over to our Waze uh, desk. How's it looking, Diane Eisner? Are, are the Wazers par uh, participating, letting us know where all the problems are? They, they are. It's incredible. The 405 is still closed. Uh, at least we can see tons of Wazers on the road. Why don't we just do a little check-in here? User Rotko from the group Chino Hills to Los Angeles Hollywood has reported an accident, but it doesn't seem to be slowing traffic at all at this point. Um, and I just want to remind everybody, you know, thank you so much for Wazing. Remember, the app does not let you text while you drive. Uh, and if you have passengers in the car, please take advantage of that for reporting with pictures. Let us know what's going on because things could change at any moment. And we'll keep you up to date real time. And again, in the morning when your commute reopens, Wazing is great for commuting. So you don't have to just use it for Carmageddon. That's been an amazing kickoff for us. But keep using it. And we're going to try to get you to work uh, as fast as possible every day. Back to you. Great reminder. <laughs> Keep using your ways. Just flip it on and you have all of us who have to commute out there in Southern California. Thanks. You can download the free Waze app by visiting the App Store or the Android market. You can also find more information, including the Waze map on abc7.com slash traffic. Lisa, that's how you can do it. That's right. There's a tons <laughs> of ways to stay connected, John. Don't be texting John. and driving. Don't. Let your don't. partner do it if you get somebody the with wheel. you. Yeah. That's right. Get your kid to work the thing on <laughs> the passenger right. seat. And now I want to check in with our Wazers because I am a Wazer myself. And I want to say good morning to Jay Ray. He's actually a member that contributes a lot. So he's earning points out there just by flipping on his Waze and uh, letting us know what's out there, including this stalled out car. It's on the shoulder, but it's just a little warning to, you know, watch out if you're about to hit um, uh, the 60 freeway in Pomona. So thank you for that, Jay Ray. Let's take a look at our Waze maps. We're with Diane Eisner from the Waze Traffic Desk. How's it looking out there? Are people excited? People are very excited. We've got a ton of Wazers on the road, and uh, everyone's very excited about hearing that uh, the, the 405 is going to reopen. Uh, we have one report from user MacMe. Just want to say thank you for reporting an accident, again, on the side roads, which is where Waze is very good as well. And uh, thanks for letting us validate that. It's now been cleared, so it shouldn't cause you any traffic problems. But if we just take a little zoom out here, uh, the 405 will be reopening uh, this afternoon, we hear. And uh, I just want to remind everyone to keep on Wazing. Tomorrow's commute might be might be a nasty one as everyone gets back together and Waze is going to keep you up to date in real time with all those new Wazers out there on the road. So back to you, Alicia. Thank you, Diane. I'm a new Wazer too. Thanks, Yay. Diane, for all of your help. And I want to remind Wazers and everybody who has not signed up yet, you can still use Waze. It's going to be very helpful even after Carmageddon is officially over and done with.